the Philadelphia 76ers were able to scrape past the Miami Heat in a really close back and forth playing game. And throughout this matchup, Nicholas Batum was the biggest factor to Philly's success. Now, in the first half of this game, Philly was having a lot of issues with the heat zone defense. About halfway through the first quarter, Coach Spolstra subbed in both Dillion Wright and Haywood Heisman, who are both players that are really long, agile, and have a high motor, and they fit perfectly in Miami's aggressive stretched out zone. Notice on this play how Highsmith is extended out beyond the three, while these four players are shrinking the floor. And once the ball gets moved around, they had the length and speed to draw Philly into a bunch of turnovers. And then on top of that, Miami also had Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo on the court, who are two guys that also add to the Heat's length and mobility, but they also have the strength to throw their weight around down low. Maxi drives inside, goes right at Adebayo. So Miami's combination of speed, length, and size allowed them to use these aggressive shifts on the perimeter. And then once the ball entered the paint, they would then swarm the ball like a pack of wolves. And this is where I think Jimmy Butler brings a ton of value because he has the size and strength to both wall up the ball down low, plus the speed to work around and get in passing lanes. And then Butler also has really good anticipation off the ball, being able to read angles and jump in passing lanes like an NFL cornerback. But for the Heat, it all really comes down to their rotations and all five guys on the floor being in sync. You'll see Tyrese Maxey on this play knife into the paint, and notice how he pulls four Miami defenders towards one side of the floor. But Hakez here puts himself in perfect weak side position, and he's able to snip out this pass. And then after a made basket, Miami was also using some full court pressure to take away Philly's rhythm, and they were also able to generate some turnovers from this as well. So the 76ers overall did not have a good first half, scoring just 39 points and committing 11 turnovers. Playing zone defense has loved now when jumping forward and looking at the second half, the clear adjustment Philly made was to play with pace. Defensively, Philly was able to buckle down to get stops and force turnovers. And obviously, if they're playing out in transition, it's going to make it way tougher for Miami to set up their defense. You'll see Kyle Lowry here get this back tap at half court. And as Philly starts to push the ball, Miami has to scramble to both stop the ball and pick up the shooters. But they then leave Joel Embiid wide open for a walk in three. Embiid, Embiid three pointer. Bang! And then when playing in the half court, Philly was able to spread the floor with shooters. And this is where Nicholas Batum became a major factor. Now obviously, Batoon is a very capable shot maker, but most importantly, he also has a freakish quick release off the catch. Being able to catch and get the ball to a set point with no major dips or hitches. And that's a very big factor because if the defense shifts off him just slightly, there's pretty much no way to recover back out and alter his shot. You'll see Embiid catch here at the top of the key. And notice how deep Miami is playing here in gap. So in response, Joel is going to whip this pass out to Nicholas for a catch and shoot three. And that three point shooting really punished the Heat for trying to crowd the paint. Notice on this play how Adebayo is shifting over to help on this Embiid post up. But he then leaves Batoon wide open for another spot up three. And then in return, that outside shooting opened up the floor and allowed Philly's guards and playmakers to get downhill. On this play, notice how we have both healed and Batoon spotting up. And that outside threat forces these help defenders to stay glued up, which gives Maxi an open lane to attack into. You can see the same effect on this play, where Batoon is again spotting up, which gives healed all the space to his left to attack into, where he's then able to get into the teeth of the defense and make a play at the rim. This is a veteran read by Batum right here, where he's again spotting up and creating space for Maxi to attack into, but he then catches his man ball watching, and he sneaks behind him for this putback. And then in the final minute of this game, Nicholas also had two major defensive plays. First, he stepped up and pressured Tyler Hero into this turnover. 
He stepped on, his, on the half court line, back court by. And then on the following possession, the Heat were again trying to space the floor and let Hero work off his open ball screen. But notice how Batum is going to again step up and slide with Hero as he attacks away from the screen. Then he springs up and gets a piece of the shot. Fires up, blocked by Batum. So going into the playoffs, Philly is going to need role players to consistently step up every game. And with Embiid still not being 100%, the 76ers are going to have to simply scrap and find ways to win. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think in Nicholas Batum's game. The kids here.